We're pretty ready for the Mars orbit insertion, I would say, and we're confident about it. Now my role is to track where the satellite is at all times in order to basically know when to do the maneuvers and when to do I want to basically slow down in order to get captured by Mars. The Mars orbit insertion, basically we have to slow down the speed of the spacecraft to a speed in which we can get captured by the Martian atmosphere. So we'll be burning about half a ton of fuel for 20, 29 minutes, just to slow down in order to get captured by Mars. It's a very crucial uh, maneuver for us, of course. It's very important for us to be like, pretty accurate with it because slowing down the spacecraft if we don't slow it enough we're not going to get captured by the martian gravity and basically we're going to escape into an orbit that's going to orbit the sun and we won't be able to get back into mars until two years later however if we burn too much then we risk crashing into mars we found the right balance in order to do the maneuver and basically have a safe margin both ways. We've been ready for this maneuver. We have all of the contingency plans and everything in place. So we're pretty happy with the way our design is. Hopefully it's gonna go fine. Success is the, really within our grasp for this mission. Although the failure rate is 50% for Martian missions, but so far what we've seen, we're, we're on the right path. I study the um, impact of uh, varying atmospheric conditions to the lower atmosphere on derived thermophysical properties on the Martian surface. Thermophysical properties are properties that affect the energy budget. So the ultimate goal is to use diurnal data from EXI and EMIRS to investigate this impact. So up to receiving the scientific data, the science team works on developing the scientific models and algorithms for the scientific data processing and interpretations. And after receiving the science data, the science team will be working on uh, calibrating, verifying, and analyzing this data. The significance of this data is basically we'll have diurnal coverage, which hasn't been uh, found before or um, investigated before by previous, previous missions. So having this day-to-night uh, -day cover day coverage, uh, seasonal coverage, global coverage, gives us an advantage of um, having of knowing what's happening uh, on Mars. A history of Mars, we know that it was a wet uh, environment, but nowadays we know that it's a dry environment. So we needed to understand what's happening on Mars. Having this data, especially from the UAE, can inspire the youth to um, to go into the science field since it's a scientific mission. And it's actually one of the programmatic objectives is to um, enhance the knowledge of the scientific community and uh, the engineer community as well in the UAE and to build those capabilities in the UAE. PLASAT is an important part of this mission. It has been used prior to launch to simulate and uh, understand the design of the spacecraft and how it could function to meet our objectives. After launch, even it became more important where we are through our seven months of uh, transition from Earth to Mars. There have been several activities on board the spacecraft that has been simulated on FLASA to understand how the spacecraft is going to work, what functionality or capability of the spacecraft would be reached within this uh, environment, the deep space environment, since we don't understand that completely without even having uh, components out there. As we approach MOI, Mars Orbit Insertion, FLASA even became more important where we need to precisely understand how the spacecraft is going to function and be captured by Mars. During this period, FLASAT has been used to test several activities or several events of the MOI to understand how the spacecraft is going to respond if things went in an unexpected way, where we tried turning off components or understand what failures could happen since MOI is very critical. We have a 30 minutes window to uh, burn and be captured by Mars orbit. It's very hard to measure confidence or uh, success rate in this matter. But uh, we've built something that we're confident in. We, we ran several tests, hundreds, thousands of tests, whether that's analysis or even simulation on FLASAT. The spacecraft team has monitored the spacecraft throughout this period, and uh, we believe that we have the confidence into performing a successful Mars orbit insertion. Mm -hmm.